This is our garden. Um, we have some chickens in it because they take waste and they give eggs. Exactly. Simple as that. Yeah. Um, the garden provides some of our um, uh, vegetables and um, uh, kruiden, um, okay, to, to make taste out of the food and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, spices and, and herbs. Yeah, spices, that's what I, I was okay. uh, searching for. Um, and it's all made here and uh, the people in the environment can come here too to, oh, to, be to, at to socialize and yeah, to be part absolutely. of it so they can just sit if they they really haven't got a garden of their own they yeah. can come and, and sit down a here rooftop garden too, as you ah, see. there's some pots right. over there with uh, pumpkins yeah and there's a, a, a greenhouse on top too because, right. and we have some bees excellent to, to provide uh, yeah Let's put the flowers on the, into, yeah, for, uh, for pollination. Uh, yeah, yeah, put, yeah, that one. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Ah. And, and you, how do you have a sort of like a membership, or is it just no? We, really? we had uh, mm -hmm. before, but we, we stopped that because it's something people have to do. And right. The more things people have to do, mm -hmm. the less you can. Right. So okay. It has to be low profile. Right. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a I'm an outreacher. Okay. So I go out on the streets, public space, to uh, visit young people. Excellent. Explain. From then on, anything can happen. Excellent. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's always fun here. Excellent. Okay. So the reason why we are doing this volunteering um, is because we want youth um, to have a better future to to be aware that they have to take care of our planet and and everything that's on it um, it provides very much things but we have to reuse it yeah. reinvent it and be creative all the time um, so i hope everybody has the same idea about this and tells their children mm. the same thing um, and that's why we're doing this and you've only been doing it for a year and you're beginning now people are becoming more used to coming here and it's becoming a quite a community center as well in yeah. itself isn't it? it's, it's, it's part of the community now. yeah it is because um, they see that it's different and it mm, works too mm. um, so I mean more relaxed and happy here there's just yeah, feel indeed it, it, and it's doable mm, exactly it makes yeah. it doable for everybody yeah right. everybody works every day everybody mm. buys things every day mm. but you also can make things every yeah. day yeah do some less working <laughs> i have got a video of a friend that is actually in belgium in in bruges that actually has been given a lot of food that's nearly out is out of date and he's reselling it, yeah. but for his kind of money, like it's called ichos, which means you, if you do something for the community, they'll get you, give you some money, and then you can buy these things. Yeah. Maybe you could might think about putting a, 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 a community shop in here, yeah. or where people don't have to buy things in plastic. That would be something I would yeah. think would be quite a nice thing. That you can buy your stuff in bulk. You bring your bag yeah. with it, and you can sell it here without plastic. It's It'd cool be you good. Bring this up, yeah. Because we are busy doing this exactly, yeah, good, we, with local farmers exactly we are making um, food groups mm -hmm. so they we have a depot over here excellent with food mm -hmm. so that people can come over here to get their foods but right. all from local uh, local products local farmers. Yeah. yeah and try to keep it without plastic or you yeah. reuse the same yeah. thing come with your own bags everything yeah. else maybe we can silk screen them ourselves that would be a good idea we got yeah. it.